How's it going? You chose a beautiful day to arrive. Wow. Cool today. How are you? You're cold? That's okay. You're warm. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so you're, you're all right. Good. Yeah, there was a little bit of snow where you put your car. Actually, on the foot of the mountain it was like half snow half rain right but they cleaned the roads oh, where yeah. I put my car it was uh, it was the road was wider so I took a spot yeah, where I they saw your photo yeah. that was good yeah you know against all advice <laughs> there's another guy coming yeah. uh, tomorrow morning yeah. he's from Milan wasn't sure if he's Italian and you put your backpack down. Is it heavy? Uh, yeah, but it's fine. More snow coming to. I think today is a big snow day. Tomorrow will be a little bit more. So we'll see. You know, most of the work we're doing is inside now. Uh -huh. so. Yeah. It's all right. I think it's best for you to set up your tent in the cabin. You know, some right. space there, because if you're camping on snow, I mean, it's possible. I don't know how good your tent is. So. It's a basic tent, but I bought, uh, um, you know, this an under layer oh, where awesome. I can put on the uh, on the ground, so the tent is not sitting on the snow. It's up to you. I mean, it's it's also nice to sleep in the snow. <laughs> you know, in the cabin at least you have a flat floor. Yeah, yeah. But it's uh, a bit of a dirty cabin right now. Usually, um, there's one flat space just up there. Hmm. Quentin slept there last week, and then the other, there were three guys here last week, and two of them slept a little bit more up there. Mm. And those are the only flat spots. Mm. I mean, the rest is yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all sloping. I mean, we're in the mountains, so we're in the mountains, yeah. and that's a flat spot too. But I want to keep that free for uh, yeah, filming yeah. and everything. So um, yeah, I'm inside today because I'm working on the video. Yeah, Almost right. ready. Like Saturday and Sunday is a bit of a video day. Yeah. Okay. I've never seen so much snow here. How much snow is on the roofs? A lot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, not one meter of snow, but oh, a half a meter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh-uh. 
one just. Oh, that one. <laughs> yeah, I see. You can put them, you can heat it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. This one's going. Let's take a shower. Car door is open for some reason. I won't be leaving here soon. Yeah, if you clear that path down there, you now we can walk around with the wheelbarrow. Yep. Today we'll be mostly just taking the dirt out and moving it also outside of the cabin. Start clearing the solar panels. Hope we get a bit of charge today. I don't think much. I also don't think I have got enough gas for the generator if we're out of power. So this is going to be the utility room where the gas boiler is going to be and gas bottles and plumbing and all that sort of things. It's very low, as you can see, uh, so it can't be a toilet, but uh, it's good enough for utilities. The only problem is that it has two ceilings. So this is the roof, and then here it has a stone floor ceiling sort of so that's I think it's used for storage up here and then this could be a dog shelter or whatever so what I have to do is I mean it, it has to be rebuilt basically from here if I want to have a slightly larger opening and um, a, a bit of headspace to work and put things inside here like a pickaxe yeah but it's, it's stone it's not iron can I see it yeah it looks a bit like a pickaxe
Waited. <laughs> you can come through here. There's a few bitches there. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> it has been quite a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <sighs> Welcome in the snow. Thank you. It's uh. When I told you the road was cleared, I spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah, it was cleared. I mean. They cleared once a day, I think. I mean, there's a lot of light yeah. to clear. Yeah. It's a lot of snow. Yeah. Like yeah, it's high up to my knees in some points. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Cool. Nice. Like some uh, somewhere. We don't need as it. As soon as I open the backpack. Yeah. I would set up your tent um, uh, a bit later when the snow stopped, and then okay. carve out a little space so you're on the ground. In between walls of snow, you have some insulation. Yeah, so it'll nice. work well. There's like a little flat spot there. I'll show you in a bit. Okay. That's the only flat spot here, and then there's more flat spots over there. It's usually where people camp. Um, I already camped once in the snow a long time ago. I'm more prepared now. Like I have a lot of insulation for the floors. Good. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be. I, if you have a small tent, you'll be fine. Yeah, you'll I be have better off than tent. in this one. I mean, I, it's nice when the stove is on, but when I go to yeah, bed, like I after bet. an hour, it's <laughs> cold. You know? And people are always thinking, uh, people don't know about winter camping, but a small tent with two layers is the best. Yeah, it's the best, I know. Because it traps your body heat. Exactly. And now with the snow. I also, like in the morning, it was no, now five degrees warmer in my tent because there was a layer of snow on top. Yeah, it insulates a lot. It, it does insulate, because normally when there's no snow, it's actually colder in the tent. And now we can use the drill. This is stuck. Yeah. Well, I need to get this out. Yeah. I have like a scraper. Can you give us a hammer, uh, like a claw hammer? You see it there? Uh, the yellow. yellow green. Yellow, yellow green. green. The small pickaxe here. Thank you. Great. Is it big enough for five, eight, eight pipes? Sorry? Is it big enough yet? Ah, it's going fast now, eh?
You see them? Yeah. I got them. them around I'll slowly warm up. Yeah they're very very uh, dense no yeah we also got these ones like the them. Yeah if they're from outside they might be a little wet. Better. I can better? feel my, my toes again. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you need to walk, isn't it? Yeah. But this is also good because with this amount of snow, I mean, a bigger shovel would be yeah, too hard yeah. to handle.
bubbly mix. We're gonna go down today <coughs> because I'm out of food and out of building supplies so we can't do anything can't come here with uh, supplies and uh, because it's all heavy I'm working on concrete work on the walls so with lime mortar and cement uh, well first of all I'm, I'm out of it but it's also a little bit too cold to work with that and uh, the snow is too high First we thought we we're gonna walk down, but then yesterday I thought let's let's try to clear the road on this side and get just over the top of the hill. So we're on the southern side, it will thaw out a bit quicker. And then when I drove through 60 centimeters of snow, quite steep down, it was still okay. I had a uh, I had enough traction to get through because the gravity helps a little bit. So then I thought let's try to get down with the car. And wherever we need to shovel a bit, we'll we'll do that. And at least I got the car to, to come back up um, in a few days. I think I'll take a break for four or five days. Um, and then it warms up a little bit, and then the snow is going to clear. Yeah, nature has won this time. I'm uh, I'm defeated. Thank you. 
You want to have a look at the viewpoint? Yeah. We haven't seen it, right? Let's see if we get up here. 